Welcome back to True Host Academy. If you're trying to decide between WHMCS and box billing for your web hosting business, it's important to understand how they stack up against each other. They're both designed to help you automate billing, manage clients, and simplify your hosting services. But there are key differences that might influence your decision. Let's go through a direct comparison between the two. One, features and functionality WHMCS is known for being a full-blown powerhouse. It covers everything from automated billing, client management, and domain registration to an integrated support ticket system. You can do it all from one place, whether it's creating invoices, handling payments, or managing hosting accounts. WVWHMCS supports many third-party extensions and integrations, making it super flexible for a growing business. Box billing, on the other hand, is more basic. It offers essential features like automated billing, client management, and some support for payment gateways. However, it doesn't have the same level of advanced features that WHMCS provides. And here's some Something crucial to know. Box billing is no longer actively maintained as from October 2022. While it was once a free and open source solution, it currently has known bugs and vulnerabilities. 2. Cost and Licensing WHMCS operates on a paid subscription model. Pricing starts around $24.95 per month, depending on the number of clients and the specific features you need. It's a bit on the pricey side, but for many businesses, the advanced features, security, and continuous updates justify the cost. Box billing is completely free, no strings attached. That's great for small businesses or startups with tight budgets. But because it's not being actively updated, you might be exposed to security risks, and you'll have to deal with the bugs yourself or rely on the community for fixes. 3. Customization and Extensibility WHMCS is highly customizable. You can tweak almost everything to fit your brand, from templates to payment gateways. There are tons of integrations available, and you can expand its functionality through plugins and third-party apps. Box Billing also offers customization, but its options are limited in comparison. It does have an API for creating extensions, but the variety and depth of integrations are much smaller. Plus, with the lack of active development, you might run into issues if you're looking for specific features or support for newer systems. 4. User Experience and Interface UHMCS has a professional interface with a lot of features. Some users find it overwhelming at first because there's so much you can do, but it's very comprehensive once you get the hang of it. The admin panel is packed with options, giving you full control over your hosting business. Box billing, on the flip side, is simpler. The interface is clean and easy to navigate, especially if you don't need all the advanced features. However, simplicity comes at a price. It lacks the flexibility of WHMCS, and the lack of updates means that even basic functions could become unreliable over time. 5. Support and Updates This is a big one. WHMCS has regular updates, and you get access to both official support and a strong user community. If something goes wrong, there are plenty of resources to help you out, whether it's documentation or forums filled with other users who've been in your shoes. Box Billing has a much smaller support community. Since it's not actively maintained, you're pretty much on your own for support. You might find help in the community, but it's not as robust as WHMCS. Plus, without regular updates, updates, security vulnerabilities could become a major issue for businesses that handle sensitive client data. To sum it up, WHMCS is ideal for businesses that need a powerful, reliable, and highly customizable billing and client management system. It comes at a cost, but you get extensive features and solid support in return. If you're serious about scaling your business, WHMCS is likely the better choice. Box billing, while appealing because it's free, is not being actively maintained anymore, which makes it a risky option. It's great for smaller projects or startups with limited budgets, but for long-term stability and security, you might want to consider alternatives like FOSS Billing, which continues the open source tradition of box billing, but with active development and improvements. In the end, your decision should come down to what your business needs right now and how much you're willing to invest in the future. Thanks for watching True Host Academy, and see you next time.